Welcome back. Up next out of the anime line, we're going to be looking at Voyager Class Bulkhead. But enough of that. Let's, uh, now let's we check have Bulkhead in vehicle mode. Sorry about that. And he's some sort of SWAT vehicle. He has the emergency lights on the very top, which is cool from the top. It's all red, but when you look at it from the side, it's you see the green showing there. Would have been so hard just to put a little bit more red there, just so it looks better. I don't think it would be. He doesn't have any features besides being able to roll. He's in this mode. He's still pretty small, but he's just a little bit bigger than the average deluxe class figure. And as far as like tall as a uh, height go, he definitely makes up for being kind of short from uh, front to back. All six wheels move fairly easily. The two back ones on each side are are bigger than the front one, which it, which uh, adds something really weird. As you can see here, only the front two or on the back one and the front one are rolling, while the middle one is not. While and sometimes this one does. I'm sure that'll uh, vary from figure to figure, but that's how mine rolls. Now transformation right, is. Uh, as it is simple, it is still pretty fun. I don't know why, but I really like this thing flipping down and the arms flipping around. You flip down the back, and then try to there we go. Try to get a hold of the emergency lights. That's the best way to flip all this down. Go ahead and flip this down. And then once you release the arms from the back, they automatically want to flip out. And then going to take out the front wheels and just rotate them down. And that's all you have to do for the legs. There we go, that one was stuck. And it has, has some auto transforming gimmick. As you can see, the front is uh, protruding a little bit from the legs. So we'll just rotate or push this back. Now uh, that will rotate the head around. Rotate the arms so they can bend like this. The holes here do not really want to attach all too well, especially on this side. This one just wants to pop out on its own. Separate this and rotate that down. And now we have him in robot mode, which if I have to do say is really hard to stand up because he is really back heavy. Maybe if I rotate that down a well. little. That's about the best I can do to make him stand up on his own because he is extremely back heavy. But just for this I'm going to be holding him. Now. He's very uh, uh kind of not to say dumb, but very simple looking face. Simple in the w simple in way of intelligence. Now, I do like the character in the show. I think he's really cool. 
nothing really new in the chest. It still looks just like the front of the vehicle commode. Very short, stumpy legs, which I don't particularly like all too much. Now, as far as weapons, if you uh, rotate this down so it's straight, press this button, his arm pops up, which is pretty, pretty lame in my opinion. But the main weapon here, spread open his claws. There's his hidden uh, lever here. Shoots out his cannon. Which looks kind of more like a bomb. A bomb than anything. But it's still pretty neat. My... Obviously, getting the stand is a very big issue with this toy. But the biggest issue, what but definitely the biggest issue with this toy is the size. For a Voyager class figure. From head to toe, he is just barely over a basic size figure. He's going to be on un Deluxe Animated Prime. His head only goes to about his chest. He's just barely bigger than a basic size toy. But size is, uh, if you're not looking at the size, it is still a really fun, fun toy and Pretty easy, but fun. Still fun to transform. Getting this little ball back in here is a little tricky with this string. Okay. I'm I'm not sure if I would I really think he's worth twenty bucks or not. He's really lacking in gimmicks. Except for his cool cannon, cannonball gun. His transformation is simple. He is really, really small for for a twenty dollar figure. I mean, just but uh, just look at him at robot mode. You would think uh, he'd be a ten dollar figure, which is rather disappointing as far as uh, what you're getting for what you're paying for. If you're looking for scale, I would definitely just hold out until the later class version because that one definitely seems like it has a lot more gimmicks and a lot more fun and definitely is a, a lot bigger than this since it is a later class toy. But if you're not looking for scale, it is still pretty neat. Not uh, A little bit disappointing. has a little bit of junk on his back. The tires some screws and stuff but overall he's a very nice little toy really hard to balance though overall I'm going to be having to give him a 6 out of 10 I'm kind of I'm still pretty disappointed with him his it's lacking some detail which you can see that they tried to do with these little bumps here which you can barely see at all that could have done a lot more of this figure so my recommendation if you're really if you're an all-out collector pass on this one and just wait until the uh, leader class figure uh, until next time thank you for watching before I go I just wanted to a couple minutes after I ended this video, I figured out why he was uh, not standing up too well. I had the uh, these wheels here off to the side, but really want to flip them all the way down and around. That's what gives them a little bit of stability.